My name is Jody Lewis, and I'm 45 years old. I'm a wife, a mother, a teacher, a Christian, a sister, a daughter, a best friend, and I'm living with heart disease. I remember it was right before my 40th birthday and my friend saying to me, oh my goodness, you're gonna be 40 years old, aren't you upset? And I remember thinking, well, not really, it beats the alternative. You know, I was kind of looking forward to my 40s. I was healthy and, you know, physically fit and just really, you know, kind of ready for whatever it had to bring to me. So, uh, really quite excited until two months into my 40th year I had my first heart attack. I was away, you know, girls weekend away with my cousin. Um, finished singing karaoke, walked off the stage, and I just felt this horrible pain in the middle of my chest. I had just had a coughing fit and, you know, it was pretty intense. And I just felt this horrible, you know, tightness. And, and I knew that, you know, gosh, something's going on here. Um, and then when my left arm started to get tingly and it went numb, I knew that I was having a heart attack. Um, I knew because I'd always been, you know, an active supporter of the American Heart Association in our community. I had done fundraisers and, you know, awareness um, issues, and I, I knew what the warning signs were for a heart attack. Um, I think that I was very lucky because I wasn't in denial. You know, I got quickly to the hospital. Um, they did a heart catheterization, and they determined that I did have a heart attack. Um, unfortunately, at that time, they attributed it to a vasospasm and gave me some medication and sent me home. Two years later, um, on October 31st, 2010, I was at my son's championship football game. And I was really excited. I was cheering loudly and really getting, you know, excited for him. And as soon as the game was over, I walked across the field and I began to experience all of the same symptoms, the nausea, the clamminess, the arm tingling, the numbness, and the intense pain in my chest. You know, when, it said, when people say that it feels like an elephant sitting on your chest, it really feels like an elephant sitting on your chest. I mean, I've never had an elephant sit on my chest, but I'm pretty sure that's what it feels like. Um, my nitroglycerin spray did not work. You know, I sprayed and waited and nothing happened. So my husband did the only thing he knew to do. He threw me in the car and drove the three miles to our local hospital, thank goodness, because had he not done that, I wouldn't be here. Um, by the time we got to the cath lab at the hospital, you know, they quickly did the incision, inserted the catheterization, you know, the cath, and I just remember the nurse looking at me and saying, is your family here? And I told her that my husband was in the waiting room and I could hear the conversation that she was having with him and it, I knew that something was seriously wrong. I'd had a heart attack before, so I wasn't all that worried thinking, here I am at the hospital, they're just gonna give me some medication, I'll be fine. Um, when she came back, she said to me, Jody, we need to get you to surgery as soon as possible. You've had a spontaneous coronary artery dissection and we need to do some surgery to repair um, the tear. Um, I remember thinking, wow, this, I wasn't expecting this, you know, I mean, I was just completely thrown for a loop. I, I never expected that I would have to have surgery. And my parents had arrived and I can remember them wheeling me down the hallway towards the elevator and I looked at my mom and I said, take care of my boys because I really didn't know if I was going to see them again. Um, I woke up a couple of days later um, from my double bypass surgery and I was intubated, which was really a strange, strange thing to have tubes down your throat that were breathing for you. And that began the change of my life. You know, I had to change everything. My parents moved in with me. My, my mother-in-law moved in with me. 
you know, they had to care for my family because I couldn't do it for several weeks. Um, I went from being this healthy, vivacious, you know, 42 year old to being someone who could barely feed and clothe myself and take care of myself, let alone my family. Um, it's taken a good two years to sort of get back to the point where I feel confident enough to exercise and, you know, go about my life in a daily way. Um, SCAD happens to healthy young women. Generally, after the birth of a child or after strenu strenuous exercise. So, you know, it's, it's not something that happens to old, unhealthy, overweight, you know, people. Um, heart disease doesn't discriminate. And that's, I guess, the thing that's hardest to accept, you know. There's no heart disease in my family. You know, I, I, I was healthy, I was physically fit, I ate healthy, you know, I was active, and there's just really no reason why this should have happened to me. Um, I wake up every day and I thank God every day for letting me have another day with my family. Um, you know, I'm thankful for the SCAD research that is going on and started because of the wonderful endeavors of Dr. Sharon Hayes at the Mayo Clinic and some really wonderful women from Women Heart, um, an organization that we all met each other online. And, you know, we've, we've even formulated a reunion, so we're going to get together um, soon and meet other women who've gone through this experience. You know, know the symptoms for heart heart attack. It's not, you're never too, never too old. You're never too young. You know, you need to know what's going on with your body. And the best thing is just don't be in denial. Heart attack can happen to anyone. It happened to me. I'm 45 years old and I'm proud to be 45 years old because I almost didn't make it. I'm Jody Lewis. And this is my story.